upstairs together in a beautiful crowd. You give yourself a hand. <laughs> Um, so, the mission of the Geechee River Keeper is to protect, preserve, and improve the water quality of the Geechee Basin. I, I, I make a point to read that mission every day, and what a noble cause, and you know, it really kind of keeps me focused. Uh, what I want to talk about today is uh, collaborations that the Geechee River Keeper has done with academics like some of you guys, or other nonprofits, or other organizations. Um, I want to start by saying I'm a fairly new river keeper. Today is my 90th day on the job, and everything I want to talk about today happened for me. And I know some of you guys are going to be familiar with some of the projects I talk about. So if I get anything wrong, please feel free to contact me in private after I call. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to call me out. Um, so I just want to start by introducing you to the Ogeechee River Basin, which I know most of you guys are probably familiar with. But at, uh, most of it's in the coastal plain. It starts just below uh, Athens and Piedmont. Sorry, you're at work with flicker here. Um, and it's kind of a wedge shaped and goes down to Savannah at its northern end and down to Glen County. And about half of Georgia's coast is uh, in the Ogeechee River Basin. Uh, the Ogeechee River Basin is uh, 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 kind of I think everybody agrees it's the coolest and most important uh, river, river in, in the state. Um, and um, it's, it's mostly rural, um, um, up, 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 up in the watershed. Um, and then we have uh, an urban center in Savannah and, and a lot of coasts. Um, so the first collaborative project I'm going to talk about um, is my favorite. I'm a bug uh, nerd. Um, and it's a, it's a really cool project. It happened uh, after the 2011 fish kill. So if you're not familiar with 2011, there's a fish kill in the Ogeechee River. And uh, as part of the settlement, we received some money uh, for some research. And some of that money went to uh, um, Daryl Batzer, which is here at UGA. He's an entomologist, a uh, stream uh, ecologist or macro guy. Um, and we funded one of his master's students, uh, Kelly Murray, here. Uh, and we also uh, not only contributed Financially, they used our equipment. Uh, we had volunteers take them out with motor boats when necessary, um, and it was, it was a great project. Uh, what they tried to do um, was to replicate research that had been done in the 80s with Benke and Wallace and Judy Myers, some of the rock stars of stream ecology, and use that data to uh, assess the health of the river using macro urban communities and see how, how, how these communities may have changed. Um, they haven't published anything yet, they're in the process, but they, they were kind enough to give me some data. Um, and so if you look here, uh, this is based on biomass, um, and this is the 1980s period, and this is the 2010, so the green is 1980s, the orange is 2010. Um, as you can see, uh, overall biomass in the river um, has went down uh, uh, from the 1980s to, to 2010. Uh, the proportion of predators has increased in that time period, but there's also been a community shift with the dominant taxa. So for our consumers, um, not to, 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 to nerd out too much on the bugs, but uh, we had a switch from this uh, uh, Narcy, the giant uh, stonefly, uh, to uh, a scraper mayfly. And I thought it was kind of interesting because this stonefly uh, has a really long life cycle. It takes three years uh, uh, for one generation, so it has to be in a fairly stable environment to mature and, 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 and carry on. Um, um, and they're fairly sensitive. Uh, so the fact they're really common back then and not so much now, though, from my own research on the river, we don't find that many of them. It tells us that something's happened in the system that these guys aren't able to, to mature and, and complete their life cycle. Um, and same kind of thing happened here with the predators. We have this uh, pearl of day, which is a common stone fly, uh, was one of the, the dominant pre predator attacks, and it got replaced by a much less sensitive uh, dragonfly. Uh, they uh, seem to think this is related to flow issues, uh, which 
timely, Gordon just talked about, which um, obviously you're, you can't divorce from water quality issues. So it completely makes sense. Um, and I apologize for this graphic. Um, it's not good. It's the best I could find this morning when I started working on this presentation. <laughs> so, uh, but this is uh, another settlement project that we did after the fish kill. Um, and we wanted to map all the septic systems in a part of our basin uh, to pinpoint areas of concern uh, to do monitoring and that sort of stuff. And this was done by the Center for Watershed Protection. And just to kind of it's sideways, but so this is Statesboro uh, here. Uh, so Statesboro's kind of split. Uh, Kanuchi uh, drains this way, and it, it drains into Kanuchi this way, and the Ogeechee this way. But you can see once you get outside of their wastewater or their, or their municipal water uh, treatment, you can kind of see how, uh, and you can kind of find those areas of uh, concern for, for falling septic systems. We're in the process of writing the phase two grant for this with the Center for Watershed Protection to do uh, to monitor and try to find areas of concern using nitrates um, uh, right now. So hopefully we'll get some funding for that. Uh, we're also involved with some microplastic uh, monitoring um, along with a, a several other river keeper groups. Uh, I know uh, Satella um, and Altamaha and other people guys um, are, are also included uh, and so we're, we're we partnered with UG, UGA Marine Science uh, Jay Brandis and uh, Doty Sanders and our, we have some of our volunteers go out and, and, and collect uh, microplastic samples for them uh, and they share some of their data here uh, so this is from May through December uh, and again um, it seems like they're each um, unfortunately, uh, along the coast, seems to have the biggest microplastic uh, problem, which I guess kind of makes sense when, uh, when Savannah, the, the largest urban area in, in our watershed. Uh, but, but some interesting data, and this is all preliminary, they want to make sure I stress that. <laughs> um, another project um, that is kind of ongoing is uh, a GSU professor, uh, Dr. Cheka Collingott which is my graduate advisor, um, has, has incorporated uh, Georgia's adopted stream into a lot of his projects and using citizen science. Uh, here's uh, Jesse, um, hyphenated <laughs> last name. Uh, he used to be with Geechee uh, River here before he went to Cusa. And here he is training uh, some college kids. And, um, and Checo has, has uh, recruited uh, sororities and all types of groups, not only science groups, uh, uh, as we at GSU to, to help them and, and to do some monitoring around. And this is Checo doing some recruiting. He 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 uh, he, 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 he tries to, to get to start recruiting uh, grad students when they're really young, um, yeah. highly competitive. Uh, but he does really great work. And I like this photo, and, and it just kind of shows how great a guy he is. And I want to give him a shout out. Um, so what, what are some of the benefits of, uh, for, for, for people like you guys to partner with a nonprofit organization like Riverkeeper? Uh, so there's funding, possibly, match or in kind, uh, field assistance, help with sampling, uh, boats, labor, that sort of stuff. We can give you guys good publicity. Um, uh, and also we're kind of organized where we're, we're naturally good or, or we have that uh, kind of the apparatus to do uh, meetings and events and that sort of stuff. Um, and also we can provide citizen science and volunteers to, to help you guys with the projects. And with that, I uh, will take questions. Any questions for David? Okay, good. Um, we're going to move along into your brand new St. Mary's